The European Union, working uh, in collaboration with ASEAN, um, have been able to identify some developmental goals in the region. And through their investments, not only are we improving the border security capabilities, but also looking at a research piece with academia in the region where we're seeing if there are complementary um, community-based um, visa waiver schemes to facilitate growth and trade within the region, something similar to the Schengen model that's used out in Europe. It's a three-year program uh, with a variety of ambitions, not only about capacity building in the region, but giving real tangible policing capabilities to the border officials that they can use for screening um, the communities that are transiting through the border control posts so that all of us as travelling members of the public can be reassured that those that are on the plane sitting around us are not a crime or a security threat. The value add of Interpol being given the responsibility around this project is that as you know we have a, a global network of, um, of 190 countries that are our members and Interpol is able to provide the leverage into those countries in a really tangible way of getting access to the law enforcement um, authorities in country, their border security officials, bringing them together in, a, in an integrated way where they share joint learning around a common goal which is focusing on the threat. And that learning is consolidated around operational uh, information systems that are secure and robust, sharing the global threat picture from across the globe. Included within that is our stolen lost travel document data system, which has information from in excess of 160 countries identifying stolen and lost identities that are available for misuse globally. Presently, we have in excess of 54 million of those records. So as you can see, there's a significant threat there, an opportunity for organized crime and terrorism to make use of. So using these policing capabilities, it's closing off the opportunity for the, the criminals and terrorists to go through what are very busy transport hubs now, not just within the Asian region, but further afield.